When I became a single parent to a beautiful baby boy, I thought that being a single parent would be easy until one day life threw a huge curveball at me and I lost everything. My rent kept going up, my job wasn't able to support me and my son anymore, so we had to find another living situation. From that point on, things kept getting worse and worse because I was afraid to ask for help. I learned that in time, there is nothing wrong with asking for help when you are down on your luck. When there is help out there so you and your child can get back on your feet, take it. There is no shame in it, even though you feel embarrassed about it. When I didn't ask for help, this is what happened to me. There was a time when we had to leave an emotional abusive situation at the end of the summer and uh, it was pretty scary. I left with whatever I could and um, left as fast as I could because I didn't want it to uh, get any worse than what it already was. After many attempts into filling out job applications, making daycare work, it was just a total car crash. Daycare is just way too overpriced and way too expensive and jobs just weren't hiring me in because I was either overqualified or I wasn't good enough. So I decided to try and write a book and open up about my life to others that might relate to similar situations that I have been through. And so far it's been a wonderful and amazing experience. As I was trying to get my book out there, we moved so many times. We traveled so often and moved from place to place, living in motel rooms and traveling on the bus and traveling by car. It was just really hard to make anything work in a lot of places because, you know, it's too expensive. I was so exhausted from traveling so much. I felt like giving up. I felt like, you know, this isn't worth it. And I knew that wasn't even fair to not only myself, but for my son, and I had to keep trying. After a ton of searching and lots of phone calls, we finally were able to get our own place. And um, no roommate, no anybody else living with us like me and my son's very own apartment. And that is such a blessing. Now, people think that when you're a parent, you always have to put your children first. And in some stances, yes, you do have to put your children first, but you also have to remind yourself that you got to take care of you too. In a single mother's world, you know, um, we're busy from sunup to sundown. We rarely ever get a break. I mean, I, I will force time for myself, but that's after my son goes to bed. And that's after the motherly duties have been done. Like. You know, the dishes get done and the counters get wiped off and the toys get picked up at the end of the night. But, you know, during the day I'm writing lists and making sure tasks get done and um, appointments get went to. It's just a busy, busy day in a single mom's world. You know, playing with my son is one of the most amazing times that I have with him. He has such an imagination and watching him have that imagination just makes me so happy and so blessed and I'm glad to be a part of it. I am grateful for the help that has been given to me so me and my son didn't end up on the streets again. As a single parent who has had to start over in life from the bottom up, we understand how that feels. When you are motivated and determined to pick yourself up again, good things are going to happen. It won't happen overnight, but with trial, error, and a strong fight, you will eventually get to where you need to be again. And that is a place you can call home.